Okay, Mark says, hey guys, got a question. When you're building lead gen sites, do you prefer a more national type authority site or a more local county or even citywide type site? Thanks. Um, I usually do like regional type sites. I, you know, I've been a bit more ambitious in the past and wanted to go after national, you know, type sites, but those projects always end up petering out at some point. And like, I might monetize some of those projects, but they're only they they're they only scale to a certain point, and that may just be because I lost interest in in the project. <laughs> you know what I mean? But my point is, like, the national type sites, um, there's a lot to consider with those sites. But, ahead of time you've got to try to think because you got to plan for those long terms because those are massive massive sites and it's going to take you a lot of work to build those first of all but second of all to maintain them you've got to be able to scale your infrastructure and all that so personally I like to stick with either city sites or regional sites a few times I've done some statewide sites for uh, you know clients that cater to an entire state but um, for the most part I stick with more like regional so there might be like like for example, Northern Virginia, um, it it's it's an area that has multiple counties um, right outside of Washington D.C. And so, like I, a lot of the, most of my clients, they service all of the Northern Virginia area. So we end up siloing their sites out using like counties and in cities, um, and that sort of thing. So hopefully that makes sense. But I, I prefer more regional type sites personally, just because they're a bit easier to manage than a big big uh, site. Although it's it's really up to you. Yeah, and it makes a lot of sense to 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 um, kind of uh, attack a project like that because that way, when you can rank, you know, locally or regionally, uh, it's usually you know easier than than to rank for national terms or you know to rank for fifty different states or something like that. So you will actually end up making more money initially or making some money initially that you can then reinvest in the project to you know keep growing it as you were saying scaling. And that usually keeps the motivation strong. You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you're planning for the long term, and you have to, you know, keep the fire going, even you know, like one year, and you're still not seeing results, which is normal case scenario when you're planning for a big national sites. So that's right. Mm. Also, if if I can just add this, national sites usually have regional offices. And the one thing that most people fail to do when they're going after a national site is to establish that, that trust and transparency of having one central office and then, you know, whether it's a franchise or whether it's regional offices extending. You know, they, they have a lot of trouble because then you, you're dealing with multiple locations and how do I get maps for multiple locations? And, and that's part of the process. It's something that you have to think about and you have to figure out how you're going to do that. Cool.